This is the course Mechanical Vibration. In this presentation, we will talk about vibration under general forcing conditions and transient response of a single degree of freedom system. My name is Carmen Mueller Geiger. Some of the figures and content of this presentation are adapted from our textbook from Singer S. Rao, Mechanical Vibration. And these represent the content of chapter four of that textbook. The learning objectives of this presentation will be the following. We will find the responses of a single degree of freedom system subjected to general forcing using Fourier series. We will solve UNDAMP and DAMP systems subjected to arbitrary forces including impulse, step, and ramp forces. So those are non-periodic forces. We will use the method of convolution to solve vibration problems of systems subjected also to arbitrary forces as those that I mentioned for the previous point. We will use method of superposition to find the response of combined excitation forces. We will use Laplace transform to solve the vibration problems of systems subjected to arbitrary forces. And finally, we will understand the characteristics of transient response, such as peak time, overshoot, cell time, rise time, decay time, and we will find the processes and equations to find these values. The general forcing functions may be periodic, non-harmonic, or non-periodic. This is an example of a periodic function, but it's not harmonic. Then we can have non-periodic forces that include such as suddenly applied a constant force. This will be a step function, or increasing at a force called a ramp force. And, or we can also have an exponentially variant force. The non-periodic forces can be acting for a long time, like this one right here, or for short time. If the force and function is periodic, but not harmonic, it can be replaced by a sum of harmonic functions using harmonic analysis, which is the trap Fourier transform using the Fourier series. The response of system subjected to any type of non-harmonic force is commonly found using the following methods. Fourier series. And this is particularly for periodic forces non-harmonic. We have convolution integral. We have the superposition method. We have the Laplace transform. And we have numerical methods. I will explain each of these methods in a separate presentation, and I will do examples for each of them. The equation of motion of a system, we have already covered that in previous presentations, can be uh, written in this form when we take x measured from the equilibrium position. We will have the response of this system will be the homogeneous solution and the particular solution. The homogeneous solutions represent the free vibration of the system that dies out with time under each of the three possible conditions of damping. Under damp, critical damp, or over damp. On, in this case, we have no damping. And under possible initial conditions. The constant C1 and C2, or x sub zero, and the phase angle will be a function of the initial conditions. Then we have the particular solution, which will depend on the form or the function that is of the applied force of the system. And this force could be periodic or non-periodic or any other general forcing. Let's look to some examples. Periodic force, and we will use the Fourier series. This is a step pulse function, then we have a negative amplitude A, a positive amplitude, a negative amplitude, a positive amplitude, and so forth and so on. So the period of this force is here, where it repeats itself, and we have a negative amplitude for the half of the period and a positive amplitude for the other half of the period. When we apply Fourier series, we can get something like that, and that's where we will learn how to calculate this series over here. And as you see, it will represent this force, but the discontinuities right here will always be very difficult to approximate. The response to several harmonic forces 
will be the magnitude of the force or divided by the constant of the spring of the system times the magnification factor times the same harmonic force, in this case sine, of the same frequency right here minus a phase angle. The magnification factor can be calculated in this way and the phase angle in this way. So this is the first method that we will study. We have non-periodic forces, for example, of an impulse, and that's due to, for example, to an impact. That force is very high value for a very short period of time, and it can be described by the function delta de Dirac. We will find that the solution for that impulse has this form, and the system vibrate following its own characteristics to the damped frequency. Another example that we will study is the steg function, which is zero before a period of time, and one if it's a unit step function or has a just a magnitude after a, a, a specific point in time. The response, and we will be find we will find this response using either the convolution integral or the Laplace transform, and we will find that the response for a step function is this one right here. The system vibrates following the odd characteristics also, and it vibrates to the damped frequency. And this, this is how it looks, the response to a step function. We will study also a ramp function, which is zero before a, per, a point in time, and has a linear slope or a, a, a linear function, which a constant slope, and the response to this type of function is this one right here, and we will find it using either the convolution integral or the Laplace transform. And, and here, the system also vibrates to its own characteristics to the damped frequency, and that the response looks something like that. Finally, we will study general combined forces. In this case, we have a piecewise function that starts with zero, then we have a ramp, then we have a constant force, then we have a negative ramp, and then it's equals to zero. So as you see, we describe this function with a piecewise function for several different uh, points in time, and the response will also be a piecewise function, as you see, we have zero response before the force start, but as soon as the force start, we have this ramp, then we have we will have a combination of two ramps to get this constant force, then we will have a combination of three ramps to have this force over here, and then we will have a combination of four ramps to get zero force. But even though when we have zero force at a times greater than for capital T, we still have a response of the system. And here, this R will be this function right here. With this slide, I will conclude the presentation. We went over the common general forces that we find for general forcing conditions in vibrating system. And those are periodic forces, non-harmonic, impulse, step, ramp, and general combinations of forces. And the methods that we will study are Fourier series, convolution integral, superposition method, and Laplace transform.